start looking at some muscles of the upper limb so on a plastic model to begin with let's look at some of the muscles that attach the upper limb uh, the pectoral girdle to the thorax so here on the front firstly we've got the large pectoralis major muscle you can see it's got a big broad attachment here to the clavicle sternum and costal cartilages and then it tapers to a smaller attachment out here on the humerus so that's pectoralis major here seen on the right of this model and if we look at the left just note that pectoralis major has been removed from here and that means we can see pectoralis minor so the deeper pectoral muscle can be seen here and you can see it coming up, it's much smaller, but you can see it coming up to attach to the coracoid process. So that one, pectoralis minor. And if we then uh, have a look, oh sorry, while we're there, if we can, on this angle, you can just see subclavius under the clavicle here. So it's only a small muscle, it's sitting directly inferior to the clavicle and you can just see part of it there so that's subclavius there and then of course we have the deltoid so on either side on the left hand side of the model here or the right hand side we can see the deltoid you can see that it's attaching to the clavicle the acromion and also posteriorly the spine of the scapula here so here we've got the attachment there to the spine so there's the deltoid and then tapering to a point to be <laughs> to see it attaching on the humerus at the deltoid tuberosity okay then we can see from a posterior point of view the trapezius now the trapezius is a big muscle has fibers running in several different directions and we can see it here now on the on this right hand side of the model we have trapezius on the left it's been removed so we're not getting to see that classic uh, four-sided shape that you get when they're both there but we can see the right one here now the fact that it's removed though means we can see some other structures here on the other side which is great then just inferior to trapezius we can see the latissimus dorsi muscle so that's this one here again big muscle large attachments here to the vertebrae and then the iliac crest and tapers to a point so it has a much smaller attachment on the humerus and now with trapezius I'm sorry sorry I forgot to mention that what we've got is very very well identical attachments to the deltoid too so with trapezius it's distal attachments a spine of scapula a chromium and then clavicle same as the proximal attachments of the deltoid all right now on the um, the other side the left hand side of the the muscle uh, the muscle model here we can see with trapezius and latissimus dorsi having been removed we can see the structures underneath so firstly here on the left we've got the rhomboids major and minor now what they've done with this model is they've made them into one muscle mass so there's no separation here between the muscle fibers often on other models and sometimes on the specimens though there will be a separation and you will see about here uh, a pretty a pretty clear dividing line separating rhomboid minor which is the smaller superior one from rhomboid major which is the larger inferior one now they do have the numbers here on this model indicating where they're saying this is this is major and this is minor but I always find it better to to pin these on a on a specimen or model where you can clearly see that there's a dividing line usually about here between rhomboid minor and major so remember minor is superior and smaller major inferior but larger now sitting just above them we then have the levator scapulae the levator scapulae comes from here superior angle of scapula up to the first four cervical vertebrae that's the one that's going to elevate the scapula so lift it up I'll and set my apologies please I'll just move the model so you can see it more clearly so here we have levator scapula coming from scapula up to the first four cervical vertebrae in a position to elevate the scapula then we can see the rotator cuff muscles so if we look on the, the scapula here 
we can see the spine of the scapula pretty clearly here. So superior to the spine, we have supraspinatus. And then inferior to the spine, all of this is infraspinatus. And just this small bundle here of fascicles, that's teres minor. So supraspinatus, infraspinatus, teres minor. So those three are part of the rotator cuff. They're all attaching out here onto the greater tubicle. So supraspinatus on the superior aspect of it, infraspinatus and teres minor onto the, the lateral aspect there of the greater tubicle. Now those three are all part of the rotator cuff. This one is not, but it's sitting right next to them, and that's teres major. So again, the minor, like with the rhomboids, is superior and smaller. The major, inferior, but much larger. So there's teres major there. Now on this particular model, we don't get a great view of subscapularis. It'll be on the front of the scapula, so well, we can't see it in there. But on a, on a different model, we'll get a good view of that in a minute. The what we can see on this one, though, that's really very good, is if we just turn the model around a bit. Actually, let's have a look from here first. Here we've got a lateral view of the left-hand side of the torso. Here we're looking at serratus anterior. So here's serratus anterior, and it comes from the medial border of the scapula. Now, the medial border of the scapula is over here, but here we're looking at the posterior aspect of it. The serratus anterior is attaching on the medial border, but on the front. So it runs right across the front of the scapula, where the subscapular fossa is, and so we can't see where it's attaching in there. Sometimes on the specimens you can clearly see that attachment to the medial border of the scapula. But here we can see it beautifully on the ribcage. So on the anterior and lateral ribcage, there's serratus anterior. You can see it there. Now it is also possible to see it on the other side of this model, where pectoralis major is still intact, but there's less of it to see. So again, that's serratus anterior there on the right-hand side of the model from an anterior point of view. 